me. Hopefully you can hear me pre-algebra. We are going to be doing some adding of linear expressions today. This is section 7-3. Yesterday we talked about linear expressions, algebraic expressions, and today we're going to add them. An algebraic expression is um, an expression with a variable. So it has a variable. And that variable is just to the first power. So it can't be squared or to the third or to the fourth or anything. The variable to the first power. Then we are also um, saying here that we don't write the power. So if we have like n plus 3, that's really n to the first plus 3, but we're not going to write that. Or we may have 5y minus 7, that's another algebraic expression. We don't have um, a, a, a variable, or we don't have an exponent with that variable y. Okay, so what we're going to be doing here is we're just going to be adding them. So I'm going to give you some examples. The secret word today is journal. So our first example is, our first expression is 3x plus 4, and we're going to add that to 2x plus 1. So what we do is we add the same parts together. So 3x is a like term of 2x, and my constants are 4 and 1. So when I add those together, 3x plus 2x is 5x, and 4 plus 1 is 5. So it's really quite similar to what we did yesterday. We're going to add a little bit on to that. Um, letter... Letter B here, um, negative 7x plus 5 plus a negative 9x plus 2. Again, let's find our like terms. First of all, um, I have negative 7x and negative 9x, and then I have my constants 5 and 2. So a negative 7x plus a negative 19x is a negative 16x, and 5 plus 2 is 7. So when I add those together, I get negative 16x plus 7. One more together. Letter C. If I have x minus 19 plus x minus 23. All right, now let's remember, what is that coefficient of x? It's not written, but we can always slip a 1 in there. If you want to write it in there, go ahead. If you don't, that's fine, too. I would also leave change opposite on both of these. Please be writing some nice, neat notes. 1x plus 1x is 2x, and a negative 19 plus a negative 23 is, what, a negative 42? So plus a negative 42. All right, this is your first secret problem, is problem D. 9x plus 7 plus a negative 3x plus 2. Solve that one. Put a box around that answer so it's easy for us to find when we look at our notes. All right, one more thing that we're going to do is we're going to find some perimeters. And just as a reminder, what is the perimeter of an object? Perimeter is the distance around, so we always add all the sides together. All right, so if I tell you that I have a rectangle, and my rectangle has four sides, and you know that the sides across from each other are, are congruent, are equal, and the length is 3x minus 2, and the width is um, 4x plus 3. Now you might think, okay, so it's 7x plus 1. Well, no, because how many sides does a rectangle have? A rectangle has four sides, so I would definitely make a sketch of a rectangle. So here's my rectangle, and I'm going to label the length as 3x minus 2, and I'm going to label the width as 4x plus 3. Now, if you wanted to, you could label your other sides also. Now, to find the perimeter, I need all the sides. So there's two ways you could do this. There's two ways you could find the perimeter. 
the first way is you could just add all four sides together. So here's way number one, and here's way number two. So first of all, you could take 3x plus 2, or minus 2, plus 3x minus 2, plus 4x plus 3, plus 4x plus 3. Sorry. Okay, and when I do that, I can find my like terms 3x, 3x, 4x, 4x. So let's see, 3 plus 3 is 6, 6 plus 4 is 10, 10 plus 4 is 14. So that's 14x. And then I can 2 stick these. So a negative 2 plus negative 2 is negative 4. Negative 4 plus 3 is negative 1. Negative 1 plus 3 is 2. So 14x plus 2. That's one way you could do it. Or we know that I need two of these and I need two of these. So I could take 2 times 3x minus 2 plus 2 times 4x plus 3. We're really getting into some good algebra here. Pretty exciting, huh? 2 times 3 is 6x. 2 times negative 2 is negative 4. And then I can distribute over here 8x plus 6. 6x plus 8x is 14x. Negative 4 plus negative plus positive 6 is 2. And look at that. We get the same answer either way. So whichever way is easier for you for a rectangle. Now, this isn't going to be true for every shape, but for a rectangle, this is true. So we could express our perimeter 14x plus 2. One more thing. What if I say to you, all right, that's the perimeter so what if x, what's my perimeter then? Find the perimeter if x equals 5. Well, if x is 5, that means I substitute that 5 in for x. So if I write 14 instead of x, I put a 5. Well, and then I work that out. Let's see, what is it? It's 70. 70 plus 2 is 72 units. So that's my perimeter, 72 units. I'm going to give you one like that for your secret problem, but it's going to be a triangle, so it's not going to have sides that are equal to each other, is it? So there's your triangle, and I'm going to have you, first of all, we'll label the sides. This one is um, 10x minus 3. This one is 4x plus 7, and this one is 5x plus 8. So number one, express perimeter. And then number two, if x equals four, the perimeter is what? So you need to find that. Um, if you don't have those two questions answered for tomorrow, you're not going to get any credit for your notes. You have to find the perimeter. That means you have to add all the sides together. And then if x is 4, what's the perimeter? All right, thanks for watching. Adding linear expressions. We'll see you in class. Bye.